Okay, beard event again here. So, um, most of my research is doing catching central bearded dragons, uh, Pagona viticeps. Um, a lot of people wonder why or they think that they're uh, eastern bearded dragons because they're darker, um, but you know, or there's they've got yellow mouths, so they're eastern bearded dragons. So, I'm going to go through with you um, a couple of the features that uh, we distinguish between the easterns and the central bearded dragons. Um, I'll, have another video after this uh, right after it just showing you when we catch the eastern ones just to distinguish it so uh, I guess the first thing is is that we look at the back of the head here um, the centrals are very broad um, and these line of uh, scales here they're short they're quite sharp sometimes they're just even dots across there and they go straight across or slightly backwards and then they extend up around here to um, some nice short um, sharp scales there at the edge um, if we look at the body so there's uh, the scales along there but what's distinguishing we'll stick him on the side and you have one to two rows of very long tubicles along the edge there and they extend all the way up go up there and all the way to the shoulder up there so um, that's a distinguishing feature there if you look at the tail um, it's quite you know the, all the scales are quite the same Easterns, you actually have rings of really sharp um, raised scales there. And then if we look around the front here, um, when they tend to get blow out their beard, this one's not doing it too much, but um, a central will more be round, whereas the eastern, when it blows out, will actually be quite square, the beard. But um, let's just open up the mouth there and have a look in. So, uh, common misconception, um, central bearded dragons can actually have yellow mouths. It's not a distinguishing feature between the central bearded dragon or the eastern bearded dragon. Um, your centrals can either have a yellow mouth or uh, a pink mouth. Um, it just depends on their locality. The ones in where we are in northwestern New South Wales, they can tend to have a bit of yellow, but some of them we catch, they're all pink in there. So, um, but yeah, but that, that mouth is um, actually... This one's yellow, um, you know, but, you know, yellow or pink for a central, um, Easterns are always yellow. So um, we'll move on to the Eastern video uh, just in a sec. Thank you. Okay, so here we have uh, an Eastern bearded dragon we've just found basking on the post. Um, this guy's about, we found him about four to five hundred kilometres east of where the video of the uh, central bearded dragon was taken. So, Pagona Barbata, eastern bearded dragons found from uh, up in Queensland on the coast there, all the way down through New South Wales towards the east, um, down to Victoria and across to South Australia along the coast there. And there is um, areas in South Australia where you get them side by side, um, the central and the eastern. But let's look at uh, some of the differences here. So, if we look at his head, so when we were looking at the central, it had a really broad, wide base of the head there up to the snout was sharp and the head of the eastern is a lot more narrow across here and if we have a look at the spines here rather than going straight or slightly tilted back they go in an arc which join up to the beard down here and occasionally we also get this little um, little insert there that where the spines go inwards there as well and also we look at the spines on the side of the body the central beard had a really well-defined uh, long lateral tubicles, scales there, um, one or two rows, whereas the eastern bearded dragon, it kind of doesn't really, it's got about four rows there and they're not as long and not as well-defined there and um, they don't go all the way up to the shoulder uh, like the central bearded dragon. So that's another point of difference. And if we look at the tail, uh, we get a really well-defined um, rings of raised sharp spines along there which you don't get in the central bearded dragon central bearded dragons tend to be the spines tend to be smaller and they're all pretty uniform down there but you can see this guy's got a bit of uh, tail damage there and tail growth changes there so but also we look around the front and if we can get him to open his mouth for us well he doesn't want to cooperate but yeah your eastern bearded dragon always has a yellow mouth um, whereas, you know, as in the last video uh, that we had before, the central bearded dragon uh, can have a yellow or pink um, mouth there. But he's not going to open his mouth for us today. Um, and also, when he throws that beard out, 
um, the central bearded dragon will have a nice long round beard uh, whereas these guys um, when they pop out their beard um, it seems to have a, like two sections to it and it'll come out and it'll look square or kind of bi-lobed to it so but he's not showing it for us at the moment I think he's just been in my hands too long and he doesn't feel too threatened anymore but we're gonna pop him back on the post over here and we'll see whether he uh, puffs out his beard and if not if he just runs away well good so I hope you've uh, learned some of the differences between the central bearded dragon and eastern bearded dragon um, and you know next time you're out or you see any other videos or any pictures of bearded dragons you'll be able to identify between the two species so popping back up here beardy vet signing out catch you next time